As marketers, we aim to send the right message to the right users by segmenting our audience. In Embrace, we're able to segment based on how many times a user has performed a specific custom event. However, there are times where we need more granularity and need to segment based on how many times a user has performed a custom event with a specific custom event property. And there are two ways to handle this in Brace. Check out the rest of the video to learn more about both options. What's up, everyone? My name is Alan, founder and consultant at For Now Marketing, and welcome back to our channel. Before we get started, if you have any questions, whether you are currently using Brace or considering using Brace, please feel free to reach out. You can find these addresses and more in the YouTube description below. Today, we're going to talk about how to segment users based on custom event properties. Let's get started. The first option we have is the event property segmentation feature. This feature is enabled for each event property specifically. And if you do choose to go with this option, you'd reach out to support at brace.com or to your customer success manager with the link to your dashboard, the exact custom event name, and the exact custom event property you'd like to enable for event property segmentation. It would be extra helpful if you should send them a screenshot of the custom event page and highlighting exactly which custom event property you're looking to enable for the event property segmentation feature. Typically, custom event properties are fleeting data, which means the property values don't get stored on the user profile. The property values are available for triggers and personalizations, but once that instantaneous moment of the custom event trigger has passed, you won't be able to access the event property value anymore unless you have event property segmentation enabled. Braze will store the event property value in their backend for 30 days after the trigger, and that is how we're able to use this feature to segment users based on custom event property values. Notice that there is a time limit of up to 30 days. And when event property segmentation is enabled on your dashboard, you unlock a new feature called X custom event property in Y days. It's this one right here, and you are able to use this in your filters for your segments. And this is very similar to the X custom event in Y days filter with the added field of event properties. Spot the main difference between the two filters when we compare them side by side. So this is the X custom event properties in Y days, and you see that there are some extra fields. And this one is just the normal X custom event in Y days where we only look at the custom event itself. Now with this new filter, we can create a segment of users who have performed added item to favorites with event property item category that matches a specific value. Maybe we want to segment for users who added an item to favorites from the sports item category. One data point consideration is that whenever we enable a property for event property segmentation, anytime that custom event is triggered, added item to favorites in our situation, it will incur an additional data point to account for the property item category for our situation. So if, once again, if we enable the item category for event property segmentation, then anytime a user triggers added item to favorites, that will trigger one data point. And an additional data point will be triggered for the property item category for a total of two data points per trigger. And although we are incurring additional data points, the strength of this approach is that this segmentation update is instant. That means that if we have a campaign or canvas that's sending to a segment, that uses event property segmentation, any user who qualifies for this event property segmentation will become an available recipient immediately. Second option for this use case is using segment extensions. And I see segment extensions as the new cool kid on the block. Segment extensions came later than the event property segmentation feature. And with the increased usage of SQL inside the Braze dashboard, segment extensions is becoming a much stronger feature. However, the segment extensions route comes with its own set of pros and cons. So if you navigate to audience segment extensions and click create new extension on the top right corner, we'll choose the simple extension for our video. And that used to be the only option when the feature first became available, but now we have a bunch of awesome SQL options as you may have seen. So we'll call this one the segment extensions test. And we're gonna choose performed custom event for our extension criterion and we're going to check add property filters on the right side and you'll see that you'll get another field where you can segment based on specific property values so let's choose membership started and it's going to find all the properties that live under membership started 
for example, membership type. And this segment extension pretty much functions identically to the X custom event property in Y days filter that we saw in option one just a few minutes ago. So here are the key differences between the two approaches. The pro for segment extensions is that the look back period for this option is 730 days or two years versus the 30 days look back period from the event property segmentation and that there are no additional data point charges with this route. So even if I use this segment extensions, I will not be incurring additional data points even if I use the other properties as well. Um, this segment extensions route does not incur any additional data points. The cons are there's a limit of 25 segment extensions that we can build in Brace. So although you have the option of purchasing additional segment extensions, um, there's no limit for how many segments you can create with event property segmentation. So that's one thing to consider. And segment extensions can be regener regenerated at most once per day, meaning the segment extension will not be updated immediately like event property segmentation does. So you see that regenerate extension daily option here. Check this off if you wanted to re regenerate every day, but once per day at most. That's it for today. To summarize, event property segmentation and segment extensions are two great features that both come with their pros and cons. Depending on your use case, you might find that one route is better than the other for your team. As always, if you have any questions, please share them in the comments. We're happy to help. If you learned something from this video, please subscribe for more awesome Braze videos in the future. Thank you for watching and see you next time.